what's going on fam welcome to my channel Nodge of all trades i am your host Nodge. in this news bulletin apparently uh the whole drama with king charles III's coronation in may just took a wild turn against prince harry with queen consort camilla right in the middle of it ever since he became an adult there has been a level of separation between prince harry and queen camilla as she clearly took the place princess diana was supposed to have Prince Harry is about to release a tell-all book in which he goes against many members of the royal family. King Charles III has already expressed throughout his inner circle just how disappointed he is at Prince Harry's actions. His relationship with Meghan Markle has distanced him from his own brother and father while defending his wife from attacks. This upcoming tell-all book is supposed to have dirty laundry on everybody, but King Charles III has a strategy. With Prince Harry's memoir hitting shelves before the coronation, royal family insiders have been talking about the consequences this might bring. They are convinced King Charles III can take any type of criticism against him by his own son. However, he becomes incredibly overprotective when it comes to defending his second wife. With an Easter release date, this book will have a chapter about Queen Elizabeth II's passing and all the drama that came during the event. King Charles III is quite nervous about what Prince Harry might say, and he won't hesitate to act accordingly. Should the Duke of Sussex attack Queen Consort Camilla, King Charles III will reportedly ban Prince Harry from his coronation According to the Daily Beast, the king already sent Prince Harry a message by placing the coronation date on grandson Archie's fourth birthday. May 6th will be when the world will see King Charles III bear his crown. Clearly, Harry and Meghan are not welcome in the royal family because of all the slander they've directed at the senior members. During the interview, with Oprah, both Meghan and Harry revealed a senior member of the royal family questioned their firstborn skin color. The name hasn't been revealed, but Prince Harry's book might say it was either King Charles III or Queen Camilla, the one who mentioned this to them. If this happens, Prince Harry might never be welcomed back in the royal family. Um, well, you know, I'm like this. Granted, it's the up and coming versus, as like they said, the senior members. So it's always, I mean, everybody goes through that, you know, your older peers, it's older, your older peers versus the younger peers, so forth, so heavy. It's all gonna be some drama. And especially in this case, um, since Harry did marry, you know, Megan, and she is. I mean, she's half black, but we still gonna say 100%, you know, got some black coming into the royal family now. So that probably was a separation. Um, yeah, we in <laughs> Let me stop. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's gonna be some juice and some sauce in this book people are wanting to know and of course you know anytime there's a threat of possibly some secrets and this that and the third they're always going to be like oh well you know um if such and such you do this then you can't come here or you can't do this and he probably sitting there like i don't give a damn i don't give two fucks this is my truth this is my story and you couldn't listen to me when I was trying to tell you how I felt in private. You're going to read excerpts and scripts because that book might become a movie. So I bet you'll listen in and then you ain't got time for crying and this, that, and third. Because he probably was sitting there telling them the whole time as he was growing up in the kingdom. And they just brush it off. You see what I'm saying? See, that's what happens. And 
low key, I do feel bad for you know the people between um early I'll say the early 1900s up until I say 1970. I do feel bad for those folks and how they possibly had grew up because that quote unquote, even though the uh, the uh, the boomer generation was like the 40s and 50s, you know, because it was and everything. I feel like false generation that needs saving because they just grew up in this rough environment and that's the only way they know how to think the only way they know how to like basically live in a certain mindset and it's not like that no more so they're they're trapped so i do feel bad for that group of people you know and these are our you know leaders of now you know the same you know people who paved the way for us and there might be a little bit of resentment because they did all this you know, building, building, building for us to have now, and it's like they can't even enjoy some of the things that's going on now because of their mindset. You feel me? If that makes any kind of sense. Um, so it could be a lot of bitterness, a lot of jealousy, a lot of you know, whatever, whatever have you. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much all I got to say about it, and with all family misfortunes as such i hope that one day they can come together just like anybody just settle any differences and understand it but as i was gonna say earlier before i got into my spiel like and it comes with the phrase jump in the broom i know that's more so like you know terms with marriage but with the broom emphasis, that's all people do. Jump over stuff. Sweep, sweep stuff under the rug. You know what I'm saying? Why not handle the issue right then and there when it presents itself? Because you keep sweeping and pushing things to the side, procrastinating when you could have been solved it. Guess what? Things of this nature can happen. And most likely will happen. So he can't get mad. I mean, King Charles III can't get mad. Whatever is in the book, whatever said about him or his wife or whoever, can't get mad because they had plenty of opportunities over the years to get it straight and get it right and get an understanding. So tell me your thoughts about it. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see y'all.